Hello, I'm Andrew. And I'm Hope. <laughs> and what are we reading tonight, Hope? We're going to be reading the Old Testament and we are going to be reading the Passover because it's nearly Easter. So let's start. Very good. Moses had tried just about everything. He could persuade Pharaoh to obey God and set the Israelite slaves free. But Egypt's king was having none of it. God had sent one plague another after another to show Pharaoh who was boss, but nothing doing. Pharaoh was going to gonna budge in the end, and God had was left with no alternative, alternative, but to inflict one fi final plague on the Egyptians. He was planning to strike dead every oldest son and every firstborn creature in Egypt. Maybe then stubborn Pharaoh would realise that you don't mess with God. But first things first, God had made some important instructions to give his Hebrews to make sure that they weren't touched by his punishment. They were told that when God gave them the go ahead, they should take the blood from a lamb or a young goat and paint it all around their front doors. The meat was when then to be eaten as part of a special meal that would help the Israelites remember what God was doing to do for them. There were other things to to that God told the Israelites to do during during the build up to the time when he was going to set them free. Finally, the big day arrived and the Israelites shut themselves indoors and waited to him to do his stuff. Hmm. At around midnight, God showed up. He passed right over and Hebrew homes where the door frames he clouded <coughs> with blood. Good. I have one question for you guys. <laughs> did God's final plague do the trick or did Pharaoh dig his stubborn heels in, in even further? Find out in the Bible book, Exodus chapter 12 hmm. and verse 31. So what do you think? Did God do his stuff with this final plague? Don't tell them the answer, Hope. But maybe find out for themselves. Very good. Thanks very much, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that story. Bye. Bye-bye.